hello, this is Matthew Steinbrook here holding the camera and I'm at our gallery, Steinbrook Native Gallery in Seattle, Washington. And I'm speaking today to Randy Cook, a native artist from Vancouver Island. We're here having a special event today uh, where he'll be giving a talk uh, about, about his art. And um, Randy, how long have you been working with, in this field of art from your native culture? Well, uh, born and raised in Alert Bay, uh, my, I grew up, my grandfather was a, a carver, uh, heavily into the culture and everything, surrounded by masks and dancing and music and all that. I, right from day one, was drawing as much as I could and lost myself in the whole a uh, bit wanting to be an artist, or just the passion. I don't think I really knew that I wanted to be an artist. It was just the expression that I was wanted to make constantly. It was kind of what I wanted to put out into the universe, for sure. So I kind of just kept moving through life with the passion of drawing and coloring and doing uh, lots of different art, all styles of art. Um, and so now, um, look, sorry, I, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but. You're a um, pretty acknowledged and well-known artist now. Um, who was your, did you have some important teachers that helped you along the way? Um, well, the community of Alert Bay is so small itself um, and known to a lot of uh, very great artists such as uh, Bodick, uh, Wayne Alfred, um, there's uh, Eugene Isaac, um, Kevin Kramer, uh, William Wasden, so all different styles, Doug Kramer, um, so different styles and unique styles, but all very tremendous and great artists, so kind of just seeing it everywhere you go as a child and adapting and trying to mimic different styles and kind of just take it from there and grow with it and create your own. Was there one individual you worked with particularly? Well, uh, when I moved to Victoria, I apprenticed under John Livingston. He's the uh, husband to my wife. Uh, his wife is my aunt, Maxine Madelby. Oh. Yeah, so I uh, started wood carving with him. And then from there, I got to know Calvin Hunt really well. And then uh, did some work with Calvin Hunt. And then I got to meet Susan Point, you know, real honor. And, hang out with her and see all her stuff oh. and then I got to meet Robert Davidson. So you were influenced by that whole group of, yeah, of, of yeah. outstanding artists. All these tremendous artists and then what what I was finding was that as an artist you can really open yourself up to the world as well and you know seeing all these artists sort of make a living off of it and, you know and they just their, their passion coming through and being able to you know, live off of that, I thought it was just tremendous, so I just kept working hard, and I was inspired by all of them, for sure. Well, that's really great, uh, Randy. Thanks a lot for telling us about what you do. Yeah. I'll talk to you again. Okay.